developers' own acceptance tests. It's their responsibility to keep them passing. It's their responsibility to make a correction if an acceptance test fails. It's not somebody else's responsibility. This closes an essential feedback loop in the development approach. And however hard you try, you can't hand this responsibility sensibly on to somebody else. The other thing that you kind of want to do is think about it at the points at which I commit a change that breaks everything. What you really want to do is that you want to slow me down a bit and get me to help you fix whatever went wrong. And so developers being in this loop, being able to witness quickly and efficiently that they've caused a breakage, a test failure, a mismatch of specification through one of these tests failings, they want to be able to spot that quickly and efficiently. I would argue, try and do that in under an hour. Then they're going to react to that. They're going to jump on that problem and they're going to try and address it.